you probably recognize this. Duchamp's ready-mades really began a shift which was buried inside of modernism in which we realized that art was about why. And right now we're gonna see Magritte's work, a pipe that is not a pipe. Magritte said, my purpose in painting is to make thoughts visible. Joseph Kasuth decided to take it a few steps deeper. Joseph Kasuth did a lot of work about Freud. Um, he was very inspired by him, mainly because of the way he made us think about ourselves and ourselves in the world. And this is some of Freud's work. It's uh, ubiquitous, really, his influence. And so for me, I wanted to confront this and think about um, uh, the body of, of uh, the exegesis of Freud's work. Taking all that inspiration, Kasuth actually started as a painter, um, but he decided to abandon it really quickly once he realized that it was impossible for him to say anything new about the art um, in a medium that was so old. For Kasuth, it wasn't enough to play with forms and color and make nice things to hang in your living room. He was more into the three codes of reality. The object code, the visual code, and the verbal code. The reference, the representation, and the language. Instead of buying tubes of paint, uh, he would actually use materials um, that have shaped our understanding of our existence um, and that have changed our views throughout history. Materials that were important or significant um, and he would use that in his work. The emphasis was always about how and he felt that the emphasis should really be about why. Why are we making works of art? He really wanted to point out the existence of things in time and in place. The concept becomes the work of art itself, and so is conceptual art. The idea is more important than the form. It's about the aspect of signification, the importance of a subject. Ideas can last forever and can become more permanent because they never had physicality to begin with. From appearance of art to concept. The important thing is the idea. The work speaks for itself. To be an artist now means to question the nature of art. He was born in 1945 and in the 1950s through the 1960s, the late 1960s, he studied at Toledo Museum School of Design, the Cleveland Art Institute, and the School of Visual Arts. Joseph Kasuth has long-term views of society. At 20 years old, he moved from Ohio to New York. In 1965, the city was kind of like the capital of art. He then did an anthropological and philosophical inquiry at the New School for Social Research um, that would carry over all of his artistic practice you're about to see. He's an investigator of language and its use within art. In one of his interviews, he says that he makes work about language to overcome language. Kasuf felt that art was being banal and empty with its meaning being given by the market. He believed that we have a built-in mission as artists to fight for the meaning of our work. Joseph wanted to present the play on the burden of representation. He was so opposed working with traditional forms of art that had prior meaning, he had to find different ways of working. Joseph Kasuth really wanted to avoid using any materials that were traditional, institutional, modernist, any form of art that was screaming I am art with it being a fine art material. This is his work called One and Three Chairs. Here's a few examples to show that the object doesn't actually matter, but the idea does. Are they the same thing? Logically not, but they are. 
here are a few more examples of things that are technically not the same, logically are. Um, we have the definition in the language, we have the object representation, and we also have a reference. Making sure you understand it's all about the idea. In his book, Art After Philosophy, you could find his theoretical basis of his work and also the way he seeks to explore the nature of art and the way he wants to lead it to its dematerialization. That was so hard to say. Joseph was known for working in black and white for all these years, but it wasn't because he wasn't good with color or anything. It was more because he didn't want to give himself too many problematics. He wanted, he wanted to work as deeply as possible on one. Showing some of his later works. This is from 2017. installation by Joseph Kasuf. It's called Color in Contextual Play. Uh, the whole point of having an artist be the curator is that the, the, art, the subjectivity of the person chosen is part of the process. Or as art historians have to pretend that they have the grasp of objective history and they do a big autobahn or autostrada of art history which is absolute crap, as we know, because it's very subjective also. You know, who they have dinner with, what galleries support them. Art historians are, you know, uh, as corrupted as the artists are, regrettably. Kasuth felt that Neon had a lot of qualities he could unpack. Neon has a history of being in a public writing, and people are used to seeing it. Five words in green neon. That was what caught my eye while reading this essay I'm about to show you. When I first did the neons, for example, there was the history of neon in advertising. I had to subvert the commercial dimension of it as a cultural object, but also I was constructing tautologies. I wanted to make works which talked about themselves. Later, he thought it would be interesting for us to think about the nature of how we make exhibitions. Well, once we got rid of the frame of the painting, the next frame was the room it hung in. And so architecture then became part of the dimensions of the work. I work with the architecture in a way which enhances it and doesn't turn it into nature for me to make culture out of, which is one of the problems of a lot of the art that is brought to a building. It should connect with the building. Commune with the space of the life of another time in our culture. Architecture is particularly interesting because it's the most political of all art forms because it's made for a purpose and it reflects the culture. So he made an exhibition displaying other artists' art. He wanted the viewer to experience what art is like, how it's made, what the artist is thinking. See, it's all about the process. I wanted to do a play of all these different considerations of the problem of representation. 
Mm -hmm. um, and um, uh, we have an historical burden of it. Um, we have uh, philosophical issues about its burden now. And it's about all of these things and the play between them. It was important for Kasuth to make a point um, that artists can't let themselves become a form of advertising for a large corporate company. Act the activity art is a kind of horse race, and it's about careers. And this is the corporate model that is poisoning most of our world, and culturally particularly, right? And it is the um, corporate culture is the enemy. And it's all about money, it's all about market, and it's nothing to do with any of the good things uh, humanity can offer. As artists, we struggle against um, market forces trying to provide the meaning. And that's a very important part of every task of an artist now, is to try to assert his or her own meaning to their work and not let um, the price dictate its importance. You know, so it's a struggle. And overall, the history and the production of an artist becomes a different type of text. It's time to tell you the truth. All of what I've said in the video were quotes from interviews that I've seen about Joseph Kasuth on the internet. Um, I decided to take all of his quotes and tell his story, or try to tell his story. The artist and his production um, becomes a different type of text. I really connected with him when I read that he uses art to overcome language. Um, for me, it hit really personal because I have a language problem, or I don't know if it's a problem. I learned English very late in my life. It's not my first language. The history of that artist and their production becomes a different kind of text and because the play between works of art is very linguistic-like. So you can bring all that out when you do this, and that, that's what I try to do. So that's why I chose to do my piece or my little video this way. All of the links I used will be available for you to click on right under my video.